church definitely on the move as the ism is consumed. No, I'm talking about this ain't nothing but a rhyme fest, a babu, a GLC, a Ruby Hornet closed session, blessing expression. No, I'm talking about <laughs> embrace the concept and break the Hey, what does babu? What does babu mean, G? Oh, yeah, well, that one, yeah. DJ Babu, just for those that don't know, is from the group Dilated Peoples, well, well, also the DJ crew, the Beat Junkies. The Closed Session Project is exactly the kind of stuff I'm trying to do more these days. I first really, really got into Babu uh, through Dilated Peoples, which is one of my all-time favorite groups. And I think it's a beautiful thing that Ruby Hornet and Closed Session is doing. It's just producers, it's, it's hard for them to have a lane and, and to promote themselves and connect with people. And there's things like this put up. It's, um, it's a blessing, you know. Babu is uh, a main influence just on, on why I started DJing, um, being in my room, practicing, watching his, his battle tapes. Obviously, you know, you've been up on what I've been doing with my production, and this is something that was just right in my alley that was a pleasure for me to do. It was a blast. Um, Babu wanted to work with a few different MCs. He worked with MCs such as Adad on a track. Um, we brought in GLC, who he had known, because uh, GLC actually went on tour with Kanye around the time of the college dropout and Dilated Peoples opened up for Kanye West on that tour. And I walked in and my ears on was in the back manifesting and smoking a square looking real cool and the ears on goes by the name of Babu. You know for, for, for GLC he does that like that Chicago kind of hop that's kind of like that that bounce shit that slow walk with a limp and talk with a drawl and for him I was playing a lot of my slower double time beats a lot of stuff that was a lot more drum machine and drum drum program kind of driven he played one beat and he played another beat and after that he played another beat That, play one more beat. There's a couple other ones I'm, I'm just remembering. What about this one? <laughs> and that beat right there. That was the one. We ended up on probably a beat that um, you know, I love to death. I love all my beats, but probably one that a lot of people wouldn't expect that I would even uh, have done unless someone would tell you. As me being inspired off the ladies, I immediately start rapping about some pimping. Man, you know the dark light and the reflex is my secret weapon, man. So. I spoke that ism, and I talked about motherfuckers with them bionic jaws. He started going in like 15 minutes, he was like, alright, I'm gonna do this. I just, you know, took my energy and my mind state and went into that booth and laid down some cold ass shit. Some of this church. Witness the magnitude of money making Mac is smooth. Church. Fuck with a winner, baby, what the fuck you gotta lose? I'm a stack and act a fool, Cadillac is how I cruise. That you deserve a pimp, the only thing you gotta prove. As far as what I look for in MCs, or anyone I work with is, um, you know, first and foremost, is a certain level of skill. Whatever you say, and I'm better than that. I kiss raps, I'm clever, in fact. My name is Brian Feather. I don't give a fuck who's sitting in back. I can battle you in songs, battle you in rap. Freestyle like the 8 mile only this is Chicago. Every time I rhyme, this is something niggas should follow. One of the MCs that Babu wanted to work with the most was Rhyme Fest. Again, he had never worked with Rhymefest. GLC writing raps and shit, getting all the shine. Damn, Rhymefest came in, he was like, damn, that sound cold, could I get on it? And I'm like, nigga, I wanna lay it down too. Like, we ain't finna take up all the songs, hog up all the spotlight. I was like, hmm, you know what? Yeah, you can get on it. So Church got on it and he snapped. What we talking about? We talking about pimping? Ladies. If you want to sit your ass on these raspberry seats, oh, GLC, we got this. What you wearing, ostrich? Why they head cuffing hoes? What is she, a hostage? Are we, are we really running out of time? We got to. We got to. Um, we're not running out of time, but we, we just, you know, want to keep it going, kind of. We were recording songs 
from 1 p.m. on into the night with Babu at, at Soundscape. At one point in the session, Babu comes up to me and he's like, how late can we go? Like technically, I don't know if I'm pushing it, but I mean, I'd like to like worse, you know, I could like stay here till like 4.35, I gotta go to the hotel and get my shit together. And I'm, I was like, five in the morning? And he's like, yeah. For real? Yeah, I'm like wide awake, dude, so. Okay. Time ran short at Soundscape. So, RTC and the click had to relocate. We switched studios to Pressure Point, booked a late night session to finish Bionic Jaws, Rhymefest, GLC, made the move. On my way here, I thought of a hook. I didn't write the hook. I ain't had shit to write. I was driving, I don't even own a pen, you know what I'm saying? From the crib, we can't help but to be bogus, y'all. Lame ass niggas, we don't notice, y'all. Got our eyes on the prize, that shouty draws. You run your mouth about the pimping, bionic jaws. And now we got a classic record. It's like uh, off the wine and off the issue. My voice will get him. I'm Lenny Williams. Chuch. Yeah, we're here at 3 in the morning. The studio started at like 1 o'clock today. Just went hard all day. I got to hang out and meet a bunch of crazy MCs, people I knew, people I had in Chicago who showed a lot of love for some dude from out in LA. Give it up for Babu, y'all! Yeah.